I rang the warning bell regarding Iran. I called on this council to take concrete action against the Ayatollah regime. I made it clear that Iran and its hegemonic ambitions of global domination must be stopped before it drives the world to a point of no return, to a regional war that can escalate to a world war. Sadly, no action was taken. And last night, the world witnessed an unprecedented escalation that serves as the clearest proof for what happens when warnings aren't heeded. Israel is not the boy who cried wolf. We have been screaming from the rooftops for years, trying to wake up the international community, but to no avail. So I ask you, and be honest with yourselves, what would you do? What would you do if you were in Israel's shoes? How would you react if your existence was threatened every single day? While the Ayatollah regime thinks they only think that Israel is a frog in a boiling water, that we are becoming accustomed to the threats on our survival and won't, won't notice until it's too late. They are wrong. You are wrong. This attack crossed every red line, and Israel reserves the legal right to retaliate. We are not a frog in boiling water. We are a nation of lions. The armed forces of the Islamic Republic of Iran carried out a series of military strikes on Israeli military objectives with dozens of missiles and drones. Iran's operation was entirely in the exercise of Iran's inherent right to self-defense as outlined in Article 51 of the Charter of the United Nations and recognized by international law. This concluded action was necessary and proportionate. It was precise and only targeted military objectives and carried out carefully to minimize the potential for escalation and prevent civilian harm. However, if the U.S. initiate military operation against Iran, its citizen, or its security and interest, Iran will use its inherent right to respond proportionately. I think. Download Tribun X sekarang menghadirkan lokal menjadi Indonesia.